hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We was down for so long, didn't have no choice but to go up. So this is what you'll need. Um, I use Cajun seasoning, but you can use any seasoning for your shrimp. Next thing you want to do is peel the shrimp. You can start by washing your shrimp and then peeling it. Um, I started by peeling mine first and then I'm going to wash it after, but that's totally up to you. done you're just gonna wash off your shrimp all right now it's time to season the shrimp I like to season mine with Cajun like I said you can season it with anything like garlic salt only salt and pepper I just chose these seasonings so it's totally up to you so I like to toss mine around in a bowl to get all the seasoning mixed around well but you can toss them with your hands that's fine now we're gonna cover it and let it marinate in the fridge for two hours I have a lot of lumpia. I know. I know. The first thing you want to do is take your lumpia wrapper and peel off the first peel. So just get something that you can place your lumpia in after you're done rolling it. So fun fact, this is actually our first time on camera rolling a shrimp lumpia and we're all learning this together so the first thing you're gonna do is grab the edge and put it over the shrimp to the other side then you're gonna make sure that that tail is sticking out really good then you're gonna grab the right corner bring it to the middle grab the left corner bring it to the middle and then just roll it straight you want to really make sure that you tuck that tail under when you're rolling it so it's rolled tight and it's not gonna come loose. I don't know what happened. Once you're done rolling it, just seal it with water or egg. Now I'm just showing you how to roll it from a different angle. My wrapper's messed up, but that's okay. You can see how tight I have to grip the lumpia because the shrimp is very slippery and it seeps through very fast. And also I wanted you guys to see what it looks like when I pull the sides to the inside. So just rewind this part as much as you have to, if you have to. So this is what it looks like after it's done being rolled. I'm plugging in my deep fryer to get the oil hot. Now that the oil's hot, I'm just gonna start getting ready to load it into my basket. Use some tongs to load your shrimp lumpia into your basket. My deep fryer normally can fit up to around 15 lumpia all in one setting without it uh, messing up or anything. So yours should be able to do around the same. Now if you don't own a deep fryer, that's totally fine. Just use a skillet on the stove. Put around two to three cups of vegetable oil and fry your lumpia on each side around four to five minutes until it's golden brown. Now that the lumpia is done, I'm just gonna take it out of the deep fryer. I like to place down a couple paper towels so it can soak up all of the oil and it's not too oily. 
I left my lumpia in the deep fryer for around 7 minutes because it was really hot, the oil. And I made sure that I kept shaking it around to make sure that the oil evenly coated all of the lumpia so it can get that nice golden crisp. It's finally done. This is the final product. Now it is time to taste it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what recipes or what dishes you want us to do. We love you guys and I hope to see you guys soon. Mm. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that you press that post notification. Well, this is the end result. How does it taste? Hey, you're a bad player.